friends to my kitchen once again. Today I'm going to do something I've never made it, but I happened to look in my mother-in-law's cookbook and I found that she had a recipe. Liqueur de niche. I've been wanting this recipe and cannot find it and somehow I found it. And you know the funny thing is you go through cookbooks and I go through her cookbook and then I find a recipe that I wrote her a long time ago because it says Angela. So it's funny. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do liqueur de niche, her recipe. I'm going to use aguardente. We cannot find the good alcohol to make this kind of, so I'm going to use aguardente. This is aguardent from Portugal, not from in Brazil or anywhere else. How can my sister just finish her liqueur and she saved me this bottle because it has the little flower from the, um, the anise. You know, I thought that was a real, that was a fake. I've looked for the perfect one I could not find. And I look, I go, wait a minute, those are plastic. No wonder they look perfect. I have five cups of sugar, two cup, two and a half cups of water, and then two tablespoons of pure anise extract. That's what I've done. I've done this recipe one time. Somehow I had this recipe that I had seen this lady on YouTube, and she had said for me to use two cups of anise extract. Didn't work out. Wasted my time. So anyway, so that's what I'm going to do today and we're going to see. So I'm going to put this in my pot and we're going to bring to uh, a boil and it has to come to a certain stage so it can harden to grab and crystallize in there. So anyway, that's what we're going to do now. Okay, I put my five cups of sugar and my two and a half cups of water in here. And I'm gonna bring this to a simmer when it comes to where is a straight um, line. It's, it's called, they call it un, un fi. So, or when you press it on your fingers and it sticks, it starts sticking, that's how you know. So, I'm gonna do this and then I'll come back. sugar and water at that stage that when they see you feel you, it's when you lift it up and it has a continuous stream that's when you know that is at that stage I remember my mom teaching me how to do this because she would tell us how to do it and it was so hard to but I remember this one so now I'm going to let this sit here and cool before I add all the, the other stuff. Because if I add that alcohol into this when it's hot, no, 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 you might have a big problem. So I'm going to let this cool and then I'll add the rest of the, the ingredients. Okay, friends, my sugar and water has cooled off. And you can tell you that this is, it's going to work because it's already crystallizing. It had some crystals already on top. And that's what you want. You kind of want to see that straight. Okay, friends, here it is, my sugar. And this is what you want. See that continuous um, strand of the syrup? That's when you know. And I know this is right because it started crystallizing already. I'm going to put my um, aguardente or alcohol, whatever you're using. You want to use 90% um, uh, alcohol, but you want um, for consumption, not the one you buy at, at the um, gro at grocery stores or anything like that. So I mix my um, alcohol or uh, aguardente with my sugar 
And then I have here two tablespoons of anise, and we want to mix this. This is pure annex extract. Ooh, it smells like, it already smells like a, um, a niche. So I have a bottle here that it has the, still the little plant. And I'm going to put my anise in there. And you want to put it in, your thing in that easy to pour. Because we don't want to waste none of this. I'm wasting. Go slow. And this now needs to sit for uh, at least two or three days. And then you can see start seeing the crystallization. I put the rest in the empty bottle that I emptied from the agu aguardent. Some people say that the aguardent is not doesn't work as good as the uh, pure alcohol, but we'll see. I could not find. See, it already has crystals. See, I don't know if you can see. There's crystals, look. It's crystallizing already, and that's what you want. And so in a couple days, I'll come back and I'll see if it's already start crystallizing. Here it is, it gave me a bottle and a half of the Anish. So now I'm gonna put this aside and let it sit for a couple days, and then we'll still start seeing form and the crystallization in the in the in the bottle and then I'll take a picture of the final product but anyway I will leave a recipe so for any of you that wants to try to do a niche at home so you don't have to go by we'll have the recipe so you give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please do and uh, don't forget to click on the bell and until next time, let's get cooking.